Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Today we're going to talk about Canadian dog shows. So it's a little how-to video on how to get your dog to be a champion, what you need to do, uh, those sort of things, just the basic information, just a little bit about Canadian dog shows. We're going to do this video because Ember is going in her first dog show um, in a couple weekends and so we're going to do some vlogging about that what we need to prepare to go to a dog show maybe our day in a life of a dog show girl those sort of things so this is what we're going to do these are some of the ribbons i have won over the years there's a few missing from here i have a couple of group ribbons that i think are packed in a box somewhere maybe at my mom's i cannot find them which makes me upset a little bit but anyways we'll find them at some point um, just before we begin, I'll just tell you a quick little thing. Ember and Cole are show ready. So they're looking, their haircuts aren't perfect, but they're ready to go up to the ring and get ready to go in. They have these lovely red things on their ears because we blow dry them and we work really hard to get them looking beautiful. So we put this vat wrap on their ears to keep them out of their mouths from getting drool, spit, things like that on them. Um, and then we take them off right before we go in the ring, give them a little comb um, and a little fluff, and then they're all ready to go, but they haven't wrecked the hard work and all the blow drying and things like that that we've done. So that's what they are for. A lot of people come up to us at dog shows um, and ask, what are those things on your dog's ears? And that's what they are. They're just to keep them clean. So I'm an owner handler, so I show my own dogs. A lot of dog show, at dog show, you'll see handlers, and those are people that show the dogs. We're all handlers, but there's professional ones that show other people's dogs for money, um, and there's a lot of those. So you compete against people like yourselves and other people. There's also people that breed, breed, and then show their own dogs. Um, I'm hopefully going to do that. Cole, it was that Cole. I'm a co-breeder of Cole, so I could breed, could show him under the class of what's called bred by. Um, there's a whole bunch of those things. So I'm going to get started and get into that. Okay, so to be able to compete in a dog show, your dog must be one of the Canadian Kennel Club's recognized purebreds. The dog must be registered or registrable with the, with the club or have an event registration number. So when we got Ember, Ember is a, a AKC, so an American Kennel Club. So I had to get her American Kennel Club number first and then I could register as a Canadian in the, under the Canadian Kennel Club. So now she has both a registration number for the AKC and the CKC. Cole is just bred here in Canada. So he has a CKC number. I never showed him in the States, but he has his Canadian champion and he won... Um, some puppy groups and he has a few points for what's called his grand champion but we never finished that we had children and got busy in life and so we never were able to finish that but those are the things so dog shows are one of the tools breeders use to evaluate the potential breeding animals because a dog's confirmation and temperament are indicators of a dog's ability to produce healthy puppies that can carry out the breed's original purpose these qualities are captured in the official breed standard of each breed these help, which guides the breeder's decisions about which dogs to breed. And it's also a written guide that judges use when deciding which dogs will be awarded at the dog show. It covers traits like size, movement, structure, coat, temperament, and more. So since this is going on YouTube, I'm going to use female dog instead of the regular term, uh, which you can look up on the internet anywhere of what um, at a dog show we would call a female dog. And the word dog I'm going to use as male dog, and that is what we use in the dog show world. So how it all works. So there's first are the class, class, cl the classes. So every dog competing for points at a dog show is entered in at least one of these official classes for their breed and sex. Males are always judged before females. So there's the first go is junior puppy. These are puppies that are six months and under nine months years old of the day of the show. And then there's senior puppies. Senior puppies are between nine months and 12 months old on the day of the show. Then there's 12 to month dog or female. And these are the, between the age of 12 and 18 months of the day of the show. Then there's open dog or female for all dogs and females that are older than 18 months. So that's when Ember here is gonna be showed under when I show her. I'm gonna show her in the open, open female class. Um, and then they go on to, I probably could also show her in the Canadian, well, she's not Canadian bred, so no, I can't show her in that. There's Canadian bred. So Cole was shown under this when I showed him. I didn't always show him under open dog. He was shown under puppy classes. He did a lot of six to nine months, nine to 12 months. And then he was showed under um, Canadian bred or bred by. I also showed him under bred by are for dogs or females that are handled by their owner and breeder. So you must be an owner or co-owner of the dog as well as the breeder or co-breeder of the dog in that class. 
So some shows or specialties also offer veterans class, and those are for dogs that are seven years old on the day of the show or older. Dogs in this class may be spayed or neutered. The judge in the class will award ribbons to the first to fourth place in this order, blue, red, yellow, and white. So the next thing that happens after all these classes, they've awarded their first place of all of the six to nine month, nine to 12 month, all of those open dog or open female, all of those are awarded in their group of dog, male or dog. Then they do what's called winners for winners dog and winners female. So the first place or blue ribbon male winner in all the classes come back in the ring and the judge then chooses the winner's male. The winner's male will receive a purple ribbon. After the judge selects the winner's male, then they look at the remaining dogs and select a reserve winner's male who, who gets a mauve ribbon. Following the selection of winner's male, all of the female blue ribbon, ribbons, blue ribbon winners enter the ring and the same procedure is followed. But I'll just stop here for a second and I'll show you some of these ribbons. So Ember has them over here. Here is a first place. This one here, the blue for the class. So they'd win one of these or they'd get a second here. Then this is the winner's. This is one is in French, but we'll open this one here. Maybe this one here. It says at the bottom winners. So this is for winner's dog or winner's female. They'll get one of those. And then they would get, they say it was mauve, but I have a pink. This is what I got is a reserve winners here. That was what they would get if they didn't win winners, but they got like a second place winners. That would they get. Cool won this nice ribbon at a Springer special, no, not cool, excuse me. My first Springer that I ever showed was named Max and he won this at a Springer specialty uh, show and it's a winner. So he won winner's dog and he won this beautiful ribbon and he won a nice little Springer statuette that I may bring down in a little bit. And then we'll go on into these next ribbons over here, which are best of winners, best of opposite sex, sex and best of breed. And these are some of the veteran um, ones that we've gotten. So this is a best in sweeps, actually. It's not a veterans, but this is a sweeps. They do. These are fun. You can win money. It's a class for puppies, usually six months to 18 months. And whoever wins best in sweeps get money. So Cole won this one as well. He won this ribbon. Okay, so we'll get back on to the winners and we can look at winners, best of winners. And we could get on to those in a few seconds. Okay, so now we're going to get on to best of breed, where we're going to get those ribbons like the wit best of winners, the best of opposite sex, and the best of breed. So some of these, some of the shows give you these lovely rosettes, even for best of breed, which are beautiful. Okay, so after the judging of winners male and winners female, dogs who are already champions enter the ring. These are called specials. Males first and then females. So all these specials go in the ring. These are champions that have already received their 10 points then go in the winner's male and the winner's female. So they all compete and then either one of these females specials or one of these best of, or, or male specials win best of breed, or you could even have a class dog. So one of these best of winners, the male or the female, they could win the best of breed. And they are awarded one of these red, white, and blue ribbons. So they're awarded those. Then they go on to award these green and white ones here, which is called best of opposite sex. So if a male has won best of breed, then that would be to the best female. So if a male has won, then a female would get best of opposite sex. It could be one of the winners females, or it could be a special female that wins this or the vice versa. If a female wins best of breed, then it would be a male that would be best of opposite. So after that is awarded, one of the green and white ribbons, then they judge best of winners. So this is where your winner's dog and winner's female are compete against each other. And one of them are given this nice gold and purple ribbon called best of winners. So after those are judged, then they judge select dog or select female. These awards are given or presented to the dogs that are recognized as the top quality of their sex after best of breed and best of opposite sex. Select dog and select female, female get a rainbow colored ribbon. Cole's got a couple of these for his grand champion, but I have misplaced those as well. So I can't show you those, but they're very pretty. look like a rainbow. So after this, this best of breed winner, he or she goes to the group level. So they, for these springers, they, they are, what's called in the group of sporting dogs. They're a sporting dog group. So they would compete against all the other sporting dogs that are in it for best of that group. So the Canadian Kennel Club has recognized breeds are broken up into seven groups. These are sporting, hound, working, 
terrier, toy, non-sporting, and herding. All best of breed winners are brought into the ring by group and the judge selects the first, second, third, and fourth in group. These winners receive blue, red, yellow, and white rosettes respectively. So they receive these blue big ones like these blue ones just in those colors. Then um, this first place winner in the group competition goes on to compete in the best of show ring. This is then repeated for all the puppies that won the best in breed and one puppy wins best puppy in group. So that's when Cole won one of these, or he won three of three or four of these ones here. We've got these big, pretty rosettes that he won. Ember sadly won't get to compete in any of these. Her birthday just fell on the wrong time of year, as well as COVID hit, and we couldn't go to any shows. All the shows in our area were canceled or postponed or very limited entry, and we couldn't get in. So that's what happened there for us. So Ember will be showing, hopefully, just to get some winners or best of winners. Man, you never know. She might win some best of breeds. Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed, right? So finally, best in show, and then we're going to talk about how you get these points to get your championship. So all seven best of group winners are judged for the show's top award, best in show. The winners of best in show get a huge red, white, and blue rosette. The judge also selects a reserve best in show winner and they receive a huge purple rosette. Following the best in show competition, the seven puppies that won their group enter the ring and the best puppy in show receives a huge light blue rosette. If a puppy wins best in show, they are also best puppy in show winner the same goes for a group level if the puppy wins group first group first or i think any placements in the group they are best um puppy in that group as well there's a few more technicalities that go along with this sort of thing but we're just hitting the outside of it just to kind of give you a little recap of how it all works so a little bit about how points work and how to become a canadian champion so for dogs to be a canadian champion they must obtain 10 points so Ember decided to take her ear wraps off. That's how she'd look when she goes into the show ring. She needs a bit of a shave here. She has her show leash on. You can see her pretty show leash. I have these pretty ones that someone made their, their leather. And then they've got these beautiful little baubles on them. And then they have a little handle at the end where your thumb goes through. Sit, girl. Come on. Stay. You're good, girl. And Cole has the same thing. His has a clip. Uh, Ember's ties onto the choke. Or his has a clip. This is my favorite lead. And it has a beautiful other little bobble and a nice, it has a bit of a longer lead than this one's a little bit shorter. Anyways, we'll get back on here. How do we get our points? So we have to get 10 points to become a champion. Dog must earn these 10 points from three different judges and have it earned at least two point win either at the group breed or group level. A maximum of five points may be earned at a show, but a show is considered one day. So when you go to a three day show, each day of the show is a new show. So you could earn five points each day. Um, you could finish your championship in a weekend technically if you needed to, but you need to show under three judges. So you'd have to throw, show those three days and win under those three days. And one day for sure, you'd have to get two points. Um, so it's a maximum of five points may be earned at a show. So how this is broken down. So if you are competing and there's just you in the ring and there's no other dog and you win, you just, you don't get any points. If there's you and one other dog and you win, you get one point. If there's three to five dogs, including you, then you get three points. If there's six to nine dogs, you get four points. And if there's 10 to 12 points, you get five points. There are further points that may be earned at the group level, depending on the number of breeds represented and the placing you received in the group. So if you have a, if there are 13 or more breeds in the, 13 or more breeds in the group level and you get a first, you get four points. If there's 13 or more breeds and you get second place, you get, a, you get three points. If you're, there's, if you get a third and that same amount of dogs, you get two points and so on. There's a breakdown. You can find this on the CKC website. I'm going to attach this um, in the description below and you can see that as well. So you have to remember that you can only win up to five points per show and you earn points by at least winning winner's dog or winner's female. All dogs defeated directly or indirectly count. So this is an example they gave on the CKC website. I'll just use it here. It says, if you are the only Springer entered in the show and you were awarded best of breed, you earn no points. You then advance to the best in group judging. If there are 11 breeds from the, from the sporting dog group in the competition and you place first, you earn four points. 
And if you go on to best in show and win, you'll be awarded the maximum points allowed for that show, which is five points. So that's how you do it. It can be obtained quickly. Sometimes it takes a long time. You have to get, you know, you'll get eight singleton points and then you're waiting to find this, what they call a major, which is the two points that you need at the same time. Um, especially now with limited shows, it's harder to get a big group class and group classes are just harder to find um, depending on the breed that you have. Some are really easy, some aren't. So I'll show you a few ribbon combinations here. So we have one here, which is what, um, as an open dog or open females, you might win if you don't, if there's some specials. So you're gonna win your class that you're in, your open female or male. Then you're going to win winners, that male or female. And then you're hoping to get this best of winners ribbon. And that would get you your one, two, three, four, whatever points you're gonna get. Then if you're really lucky, then if you're really lucky, you might win this combination, which is the blue there you can see, which is your first place. Then you win your winners. Best of winners and best of breed, which is this nice one here. So Cole got a lot of points, and then he got he would get in, he would he would win his male class, and he could maybe get a best of winners if he was lucky. And then if he didn't get breed, which was okay because he was a puppy, then he'd go in for the puppy group. And these are his puppy group ribbons. And then as I was saying earlier, he went in, we put money and we went into these sweepstakes. And these were fun because uh, they're all puppies, and then you keep compete against your sporting dog and then you go against the other groups and this here is a best in sweeps that Cole won. He won, I think we only had an opportunity to do two of those but here's his one from the Cars Dog Show and this first one I showed you was Kingston and then he might have done an Ottawa Dog Show, I'm not sure but he definitely, his so Ottawa one was his group here and he got a best puppy at a Kingston Dog Show here. And then there's another one here. This is a lighter colored. It's supposed to be light blue. It's quite another car's best puppy and group. And then this nice winners that I got. I love that one. And then these were fun. These little ones that would hang around your neck. Ember could wear one here for us. Oh, it's stuck. Ember, I don't know if you can wear this one. It's quite stuck. There. Specialty class means that it's just your type of breed. They have specialties sometimes in the summer um, or a lot of the time they'll have them for different different breeds and they rotate around Canada usually. It's your Canadian specialty, English Springer Spaniel Canadian specialty and you go to those. So some of these ribbons have been won from them. There's other things that are fun. If you're learning, there's what are called sanction matches and you can go to them. They're not for points, but you get nice little ribbons. This is the best puppy in breed um, ribbon here and they're for practice. So you take them and it's like a mock dog show and you practice um, your skills and your dogs compete and they kind of learn in a real environment. Amber goes to handling classes right now which are to practice for me and for her getting used to being with other dogs, people touching her and me just practicing my skills. So she's been doing that once a week. And then I just try to keep her coat in condition for these upcoming shows. So this is just a little bit about getting a Canadian championship. I hope you enjoyed learning all about this fun sport. Um, if you have children that love dogs and you have a purebred with this, that is registered with the Canadian Kennel Club, they can go into what's called junior handling. It won't get your dog it will get your dog points, but it will get them, um, I think they collect points. I don't know. We're just starting into that with my three children. We just had to apply to get a junior handling um, CKC number. So we're going to do that. And then we'll see maybe my oldest, who is 12, may try this summer with Ember or with my handler friend, Marina Siri. Um, she may lend us a dog or find us something that Ella can show um, at a junior handling competition at one of these shows that we go to. So we'll be trying that out. Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Please subscribe and we'll be back soon with some more um, preparing, getting prepared for the dog show. Maybe a look in my grooming box over here. There's lots of fun things in there. That's where all these ribbons have been kept over the years. I now think I'm going to put them in a box, try to keep them because I'm very sad I lost a couple of the group wins that I had. Um, but anyways, Cole's such a good boy. He may come and do a, some veterans classes this summer. We'll see. I, my husband's not sure <laughs> that he'll want to show again, but I kind of, I love showing my boy and I thought I might take him to one or two. I have shortened his fur, but I thought I might, might try that a little bit. So I'm just going to put in here after a couple of pictures that I've received, 
um, that I've gotten at these shows and different wins I've had and we'll put those in after but if you guys have any questions or concerns or any comments things you want to know more about or maybe possible video ideas on the dog showing uh, please let me know and I will try to accommodate those because we're just heading into this season of dog showing and I would uh, love to make some more videos definitely ones that interest people so thanks so much for watching please subscribe